Stadio Olimpico is the home of AS Roma, a team who saw themselves winning the Conference League a couple of seasons ago, now sitting mid-table in the Serie A and with three league titles, nine Italian Cups and two Italian Super Cups to their name, Roma have quite the collection of trophies. But after sacking their manager De Rossi after four games earlier this season, we have come in to take over and rebuild Roma back to their best. There is a twist, we are only allowed to sign new players aged 30 and above and we also must win the Champions League before this rebuild can end. So let's get this rebuild underway with AS Roma. Make sure to drop a like on the video, comment any teams you would like to see me rebuild and subscribe if you're new around here. Let's head to Italy and start this AS Roma rebuild. For this AS Roma rebuild guys we're going to go with the Gagan press and we're going to play a 3 at the back formation. 3-2-4-1 is what we're going to be playing and I really think with that many players further forward with the left mid right mid two cams and central striker the Gagan press will be a really good tactical preset to use and just press them high and put up the pressure on the opponents so then guys we have made our first signing of this AS Roma rebuild and it's going to be a new goalkeeper guys Leno has joined from Fulham looking at the squad and I think you know what a goalkeeper is probably the area we need to improve on with Matt Ryan and goal is not really the best keeper to have and as you can see 14.2 million pounds spent on Leno 32 years of age 82 overall he's going to be coming in to be our new number one goalkeeper at Roma so this will be your team for season one guys we've got a really experienced back line there with Hummels, Hermoso and Mancini as well with obviously the new signing Leno in goal Pellegrini and Coney in the midfield I think that's gonna be a really good partnership obviously we've still got Dybala and El Shirari in the squad and Dovbik up top the new signing in real life hopefully he can provide the goals for us this season but overall we've got a really well balanced team here and I'm really looking forward to this Roma rebuild we're going to kick off season one right now guys I'm optimistic in terms of where we're going to finish the aim is to finish in the top six this season and see if we can go on a little cup run as well. So let's get into season one now, guys. First season with Roma is here. Let's see how we get on. We come to the end of season one, guys. And as you can see, Roma have finished second in the Serie A table. We're just two points away from winning the league in the first season, which I think is absolutely great. Only the one signing in season one and the team has really, really performed. This does guarantee Champions League football next season, which is obviously the main goal of this video is to win the Champions League. We started off in the round of 16 in the Coppa Italia, but unfortunately Torino beat us 2-1. Inter Milan did end up beating Napoli 1-0 to win the Coppa Italia this season. In the league, phase of the Europa League we did finish 6th which means we go straight into the round of 16. In the round of 16 we won 6 to an aggregate to progress into the quarterfinals. We then beat Olympiacos 3-1 in the quarterfinals and unfortunately Lazio beat us on penalties in the semi-finals of the Europa League. Lazio did end up winning the whole thing against Galatasaray 3-2. Panathinaikos won on penalties in the Conference League this season and Real Madrid beat Atletico Madrid in a Spanish final in the Champions League. So as we come to the end of the season guys we're going to go look at these stats. Dovbik has absolutely smashed it this season with 55 games and 45 goals. What an absolutely incredible return that is. He is going to be a serious player for us leading the line. Pellegrini getting 17 goals and 10 assists from centre attack and mid which is really nice. The captain 28 years old, 83 overall. Soleil getting 15 goals and 8 assists from right midfield. 22 years of age. He seems like a really promising player. Dybala 87 overall, 31 years of age, 15 goals, 10 assists from centre attack and mid again. Happy with Dybala. Hopefully he can stick around and be good for us for the next couple of seasons. So overall, a really positive start to this rebuild. Finishing second in the league, just shy of the trophy. And we had a good run in the Europa League as well. But let's try and build on this season. Hopefully we can try and replicate this and try and give ourselves a nice little cup run or trophy in season two. We're going to go into the transfer market now for season two and hopefully sign a couple of players. I think there's going to be some areas in the squad that I want to improve on, but I'm going to go and scout some players and have a little squad overview and see who needs to go and who needs to get and i'm going to go have a little squad overview and see what areas i need to improve on our first signing of season two is here guys and we have got a replacement for matt hummels at center back Skriniar has joined from psg for 19 million pounds fortunately hummels is 36 now and he has declined massively in the last season so Skriniar, 30 years of age has come in to replace him 81 overall i think he's gonna be a good addition to the team and he'll be slotting in alongside mancini at the back mateo kovacic has joined from Manchester City to be playing in central midfield for us guys. £25 million spent on Kovacic. He will be slotting alongside Pellegrini in midfield. Each 31, 84 overall. I think it's a really good bit of business because Kovacic is a great player. So then guys, this will be your team for season two. Obviously, Skriniar and Kovacic, the new signing, is coming into the squad. Leno still in goal, Mancini at the back, Pellegrini in midfield, Dybala's still here. 
Dovbeck still up top scoring all the goals for us. I've decided to put El Shawari on the left hand side now. As Baldanzi comes in at centre attacking mid. So he was on the bench last season or in the reserves. So I decided to put him in the centre attacking mid role. Two new additions in Kovacic and Skriniar I think are really going to help us this season. I'm really happy with this squad. Hopefully we can try and replicate last season. Try and get ourselves a cup run and that Serie A title. So without further ado we're going to go straight into season 2. We've come to the end of season 2 guys. And as you can see once again we came second just short of the Serie A title. Inter Milan won the league this season we finished on 89 points they finished on 93 it's so close it does guarantee us champions league football again next season which is always a plus i think maybe one or two more seasons time we'll definitely be getting that Serie A trophy into the coppa italia now and roma won 3-0 against bologna to progress into the quarterfinals we then beat atalanta 4-1 in the quarterfinals we beat juventus 2-0 on aggregate in the semi-finals which means we will be playing ac milan in the final we've only gone and done it guys our first choice of this rebuild with Roma and it is against Milan in the Coppa Italia. 3-2 winners are Roma. Really happy with that first trophy in only the second season with Roma. We finished 12th in the league phase in the Champions League this season which means we will be playing in the playoff position in the Champions League and unfortunately guys Monaco did beat us 4-2 on aggregate which means we crash out in the playoff phase of the Champions League this season. Leverkusen did end up winning the whole thing against Real Madrid. AC Milan beat Anderlecht 2-0 to win the Europa League and Marseille won the Conference League 3-0. Here are your stats at the end of the season guys. Dybala's up to a 90 overall now. 33 goals and 16 assists for him this season. He's had an absolutely incredible season with us. Dovbeer getting 30 goals and 9 assists. He seems like he's injured at the moment. 87 overall now. He is turning into a really really promising striker. Pellegrini the captain still getting a lot of goals and assists from midfield which is really nice to see. So a great season once again nearly winning the league finishing second. We've won our first trophy in the Coppa Italia. We didn't really perform well in the Champions League but we can make up for that next season with the goal in mind to try and clinch our Serie A. With the goal in mind of trying to clinch our first Serie A title in season three whilst also trying to compete in the Champions League. We definitely need to try and add some more players to this squad. We're going to see how much money we do get in season three. Okay then guys we're in season free now and as you can see we've sold off a lot of players that aren't going to feature in the squad at all this season we've now racked up a lot of money to add to the transfer budget which is now sat at 108 million pounds to spend it's a really nice transfer budget to have and i'm going to go on a big spending spree now guys we're going to bring in some new players to add to this team and try and get our first Serie A title of the rebuild the first signing of season three is here guys we needed to go and get a new left midfielder because El Shuari has now left the club. And it is Kingsley Coman from West Ham for £28 million. He's going to be coming in to play left midfield, age 30, 84 overall, 89 pace. He's still got a good amount of pace in him. £28 million spend, I think, is a really good pickup. Milinkovic Savic has joined from Al Hilal. He is going to be our new central midfielder because Kovacic has unfortunately got a three-month injury. But he is coming in to replace him for now. He is actually joined from Tottenham for £37 million, not Al Halal. He actually transferred. 31 years old, 85 overall. Him and Pellegrini in the middle are going to be really, really good together. He's still got some really good all-round stats and he's in the prime of his career right now. Our last signing of season three is here. £24 million spent on Otavio. He's joined from Frankfurt and we needed a new centre attacker midfielder. I feel like there was that area, obviously, Dybala's there. Obviously, Dybala's there. He is really, really good. But we didn't really have anyone else next to him. But Otavio has come in 82 overall. He's still got some really good stats. And he's in his prime years. I think he's going to help us in our goal to win the Serie A and the Champions League. This will be your team for season three. And it's really shaping up nicely now. Milinkovic Savic has joined the midfield with Pellegrini. Skriniar, Homoso, Mancini still the back line. And Leno is still in goal. Otavio comes in to play in behind Dovbrik with Dybala. And obviously, Komen has come in on the left hand side as well. Kovacic is still injured which is a bit annoying but Savic has come in to replace him for now. Really happy with this team. I think this team will definitely win the Serie A this season. We also want to try and do well in the Champions League. Obviously this rebuild will not finish until we do win that trophy but can we try and win the Serie A in this season? So close to winning the Serie A in season three guys. One point in it and Inter have won the league once again. Roma are coming so close to winning the league. I can just feel it. It's so close but unfortunately once again 
again, we were just short in second place. We won our round of 16 game 2-0 in the Coppa Italia. And then we got knocked out by Bologna 2-1 in the quarterfinals. Juventus ended up winning the Coppa Italia this year. We finished 20th in the league phase of the Champions League, which means we will be going to the playoff phase, which we unfortunately lost to Barcelona 5-1 on aggregate. Dortmund did beat Bayern Munich on penalties 4-3 to win the Champions League. Monaco beat West Ham 3-2 to win the Europa League. And Panathinaikos won the Conference League this season. Dybala was our top goal scorer this season with 28 goals and 10 assists. 90 overall now, 33 years of age in his prime years. Pellegrini's now up to an 87, age 30, getting 16 goals this season. So overall, once again, we were so close to winning the Serie A title. No trophy for us this season, unfortunately. We go into season four, and the aims of winning the Serie A, I really think maybe one or two more signings and then we will be there. Same for the Champions League. I think we need to add a few more additions, really try and compete in the Champions League next season. So I'm going to go do some scouting, jump into the transfer window for season four and see who we can sign to try and add to this team who are so nearly close to their first Serie A title. We've had to go out and get ourselves a new goalkeeper, guys, because Leno is now 35, turning 36. He's starting to decline in the ratings. But I've gone out and got David Raya for £26 million from Arsenal. And I think that's a really good bit of business. 86 overall, only £26 million. In today's market, I think that's a really good price to pay for a goalkeeper that's really, really good. But this will be your team for season four, guys. And this team is really looking nice now. Brandt coming in with Raya as well in goal. Amoso, Mancini, both going up to 85 overall as well. Savic and Pellegrini in the midfield looking really nice there. Dovbik as well up to an 88 overall. So I'm really, really happy with this squad. I think with the new additions, it is time to finally win the Serie A title. And we'll see if we can try and get ourselves in the Champions League latter stages. Another trophy in this rebuild would be really, really good. So let's dive into season four and see if we can finally win that Serie A title and try and go on a Champions League run. We have finally done it, guys. We're at the end of season four and Roma have won the Serie A title. One point ahead of Juventus, 86 points achieved. And the Serie A title is now Roma's in this rebuild for the first time. Finally, we've done it. I really had a feeling this squad was going to do it this season. Added some really good players to the squad, which is already really good. We just didn't have enough to win the Serie A. But now we have done it, guys. One point ahead of Juventus in second. Really big achievement. The Serie A is ours. Round of 16 in the Coppa Italia, we won 2-0. We then won 5-0 in the quarterfinals against Udinese. And unfortunately, guys, Hellas Verona did beat us 3-1 on aggregate to get to the final. And they actually ended up beating Napoli to win the Coppa Italia this season. The league phase of the Champions League now. We actually finished fourth, which means we go straight through to the round of 16. We then beat Newcastle 6-3 on aggregate, progress to the quarterfinals. We just about beat Liverpool in the quarterfinals, guys. 5-4 on aggregate. Another 5-4 aggregate win, guys, as we beat Arsenal 5-4, which means we will play Villarreal in the final of the Champions League. That's right, final of the Champions League. AS Roma against Villarreal. We have the chance to make it a cup double, guys. We've already won the Serie A this season and now we have the task of winning the Champions League. Here are the stats for the end of the season and Dovbik has got 40 goals this season. Absolutely quality player. Really nice stats there for the main man up top. Dybala still getting the goals at age 34. 24 goals and 19 assists. Milinkovic Savic as well. 19 goals. He's had a really good Roma career so far. Brandt also 13 goals and 20 assists from center attack and mid is an absolutely great return. So this will be your lineup for the Champions League final. I'm Unfortunately, guys, the captain Pellegrini has actually got a red card in the Champions League, so Kovacic will have to come into the midfield. As you can see, age 34 now, he has declined massively, but he has one task to try and help us win the Champions League in midfield. The rest of the team is actually really, really good. Pellegrini actually got up to an 89 overall. Some of these players in this team look absolutely great. Ibarla's still kicking it. Dovbik up top, really happy with the way he's progressed. A shout out to Homoso and Mancini at the back. They've actually been really solid, and they've gone up the ratings very, very quick. We're going to go into the Champions League final now, guys guys in the aim to lift the silverware at the end of the game to be able to then complete this rebuild as we have won every trophy that we have played in as we have ticked off the Serie A the Coppa Italia and now we just need to win the Champions League we're going to dive into the game now and hopefully by the end of the 90 minutes we will be the Champions League champions Komen now on the ball plays it into Dybala's feet Dybala can turn can he find Komen again Kingsley Coburn's going to cut inside on his right foot. Can he get the shot away? And it's saved by the keeper. Now a corner. Coman's going to be the one to whip it in. Going to try and aim for the front post here. Dovbik. And it's saved by the keeper. Dovbik now. Oh, it's a lovely play from him. Coman's through on goal. It's Kingsley Coman. Can he get the shot away? Oh my God. It's straight at the keeper. France picked the ball up now. Can he find Dybala? Can he get the shot away? Dybala! 
It's another great save by the goalkeeper and it will be another corner to Roma. Ball's played in now. Dobbs at the front post. Can't get on the end of it. Good tackle from Skriniar. And Dybala can come on the counter-attack. Can he find Dovbik? That's a cracking ball played through. Dovbik now. Can he get the shot away? Dovbik. Oh, what a goal that is, by the way. What a counter-attack that was from Roma. We won the ball back with Skriniar in the defence. And then Dybala's picked that on absolutely insane pass into the path of Dovbik. Look at this. Great first touch. Lovely couple of touches to get himself composed. And he drills it across the goal to put Roma... 1-0 up inside this Champions League final. Oh, it's a great ball to play through. Can Dovbik get on the end of it? Dovbik. He's still got it. Dovbik. Oh, it's saved by the keeper again. That was so unlucky. Homan's on the corner now. He's going to whip this one into the middle of the box. Headed in. Oh, cuts it back to Sane. He's played it through. They're going to get the shot away. Grealish. Oh, Grealish has scored the equaliser. Jack Grealish, of all people, to score the Villarreal. We should have done better with the defending. Mancini just couldn't get the right side. And Grealish smashes it into a pretty much open net. It's now 1-1 inside this Champions League final. Ibala. Can he find Dovbik straight away from the kickoff? Oh, it's Dovbik. Oh, it's another save by the keeper. Wow, this keeper's having a great game. Villarreal once again. It's Sane from goal. He's shipped the keeper. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. It's hit the crossbar. Dybala picks up the loose ball. And Coman can come away with it. Is he? Has he got the pace? He certainly does. Dovbik inside. Can he find Dybala? Dybala's for on goal. Dybala! What a lovely counter-attack once again. The second goal for Roma in this final. It's another great counter-attack. And Dybala is the one to finish it this time. He assisted the first one. And he's got the goal to put Roma 2-1 up inside this Champions League final. Rank it back on the ball. Dovbik through on goal. Surely can he shoot? Dovbik, oh, what a finish that is. He's drilled it into the ground and it's gone straight into the bottom corner. And what a ball this is from Brandt over the top to Dovbik. And he smashed it. He's bounced it off the floor. The keeper had no chance. Let's look at another replay at this. Smash it in the ground and it's gone into the bottom corner. And Roma, a 3-1 up inside the Champions League final. Oh, Kovacic, I don't know about that one. That's a dodgy tackle. This probably will be a red card, to be honest. Kovacic, and it is a red card. Mateo Kovacic has been sent off in the Champions League final. 15 minutes left of the game, and Kovacic, that's a poor tackle from behind. Oh, Dovbit, that's lovely. Can he slide in? Dybala! So unlucky from Dybala there. That should have sealed the game, but I think Villarreal ran out of time, if I'm honest. There's only seconds left of this final. They go on the counter-attack, and that is it. Roma have won the Champions League final 3-1. A great achievement for the Roma boys. The old boys can still hang about. What a result that is for Roma. 3-1 by Bala and Dovbit getting the goals for us. We have done it, guys. We have won the Champions League final. We've won the Serie A title and the Coppa Italia. I really enjoyed this rebuild. It was a different type of challenge today, and we have managed to complete it. Some of the players that we did sign did really impact us. I really like the, I really like Coman, Brandt as well. Mancini is going to lift the Champions League trophy for AS Roma. We've won the league, the domestic cup, and now the Champions League trophy, which means that we have completed this Roma rebuild. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I did. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.